Welcome to this Club 3D tutorial video. Last week we learned how to make um, a little Star Wars X-Wing model, so you should be able to find a link in the description of this YouTube video um, for how to find that tutorial. This week we're going to start from um, this Blender file, and you should find a, a link to that um, Blender file download as well in the description of this video. Uh, we're going to animate the Star Wars X-Wing so we can make it move and fly. Um, so Matthew made a really good animation this week. I'll start by showing you his and then we've got five minutes um, to get you started creating your own animation. So here's Matthew's. Hi, I'm Matthew and this is my Blender animation. Okay, so you could see how Matthew made the X-Wing sort of fly around, zoom around and then the, um, the camera could follow it too. So if you start by opening this file, remember the link's in the description of the YouTube video, uh, we'll start the clock um, and see what we can create. Okay, so to look around in Blender, I'm pushing down the middle mouse wheel. Um, you can zoom in and out by scrolling the mouse wheel, and then you right click to select stuff. So you know stuff selected when it's got a yellow, sorry, an orange line around the outside. This boxy thing here is the camera, that's what you look through. Um, and you can animate that um, too. I'm pressing zero on the numpad to be able to look through that camera. So we start by right clicking on the X-Wing. Uh, to move it around, you want to grab it. So the keyboard shortcut is G. So press G and let go, uh, and then you can move it where you want and click, or press G and then X to just move it in the X direction, or Y or Z to move it in any one of the 3D axes. If you want to rotate it, the shortcut is R, so you press R and let go, and the same works, you can press R, X, and then Y or Z to rotate it around any of the three axes. So the trick is to move it where you want it to be, and then get Blender to remember its rotation, its size, and its position, uh, and then move along the timeline to animate. So um, we'll start with our X-Wing over here. To remember its current position, you need to insert a keyframe, and the keyboard shortcut for that is I. Um, so we want to remember, um, you can choose what Blender will remember, we'll go for uh, location, rotation and scale, lock, rot, scale. Once you do that, you get a little yellow line on here. This is our timeline, starts at frame one, uh, and it's set up at the moment for 24 frames per second. So along the timeline here, this is about a second, this is about two seconds, um, and then you can set how long your film is here. It's currently set to um, about 10 seconds, 250 frames. So Blender has remembered where it is at the beginning. Then you move along the timeline by just clicking with your left mouse button and then grab and move or rotate or both. And then press I to insert lock, rot, scale. So, so far we've remembered a keyframe at the beginning and one over here. And Blender does the hard work of putting in the frames in between here. Okay, so a few more keyboard shortcuts to get you started. Um, shift and left moves to the first frame. Alt and A will play your little animation, and Alt and A will, um, will stop it again afterwards. So let's move a bit further on the timeline, grab the X-Wing, rotate it, um, and if you press R twice, you can rotate it um, in a slightly different orientation, and then I to remember and lock, rot, scale. Okay, so that's moved the X-Wing. It's kind of flying around like so. The same way that we moved the X-Wing, you can also move the camera. So let's have a look at the beginning. Zero on the numpad, you can just about see it. If I right click on the edge of the camera, Shift and F is a really useful keyboard shortcut. You can kind of move it with the mouse and then go in and out with W, A, S and D. So we'll start looking like that um, and then click to, to finish kind of walking around. I to remember lock, rot, scale and then move along the timeline. Uh, so I need the camera to be somewhere different here. So let's press Shift and F. Let's move the camera where we want to be. So I'm just moving the mouse and pressing A and S. There we go, that'll do. And then click I, let's remember it here. Um, what happens next? There we go. Um, and then over here, I'm just gonna move the camera up a little bit. Um, so rather than pressing Shift and F, I'm going to press G and Z uh, to move it up a little bit, and I to remember. Okay, so this is our animation so far. It's pretty simple. Um, so that's the easiest way to make animations, but if you want to change it as soon as you put these keyframes in, it's quite difficult to do um, just with this view. So um, you're best off switching to the animation view 
And this dope sheet over here is really powerful. So we've got 55 seconds left. Let's try and give you a quick overview of the dope sheet. First of all, we'll change it to material mode so we can see it a bit better. These blobs here are the keyframes that we put the yellow lines just here. And you can zoom in um, and scroll by pushing your mouse wheel in. The beauty of this dope sheet is that you can right click to select or you can press B for box and drag and select. And that lets you grab with G um, or you can scale. So I can press A to select all, S to scale. And can you see down at the bottom of the screen, the keyframes are moving along. Um, so the dope sheet lets you change all of these keyframes. So you can press G to grab, or if you made a mistake, you want to get rid, um, you can press X to delete. Okay, so hopefully that's enough. Um, just to get you started, remember the key shortcuts are I to insert a keyframe, uh, and then you move along the timeline, um, and then move, change the position, and that's it. So hopefully this is enough to get you started, see what you can create. Thanks for listening, thanks for watching.